now a zombie. Hey guys, if you're tuning in to this uh, episode 2 of our zombie series, uh, unfortunately, Joe Blow has died. He has not survived the zombie apocalypse. But, um, here they are now. As you can see, this mock, this second mock, is basically a countryside, uh, like a single pump, or like a really simple gas station, one of those old days ones, like those 1950s, 19, like 70s style, like, like a, those roadside kind of like gas station kind of things. And as you can see, my friend, he's up on the roof, still with his Remington 870, owning the zombies. Um, and we have a tutorial on that, which might, might have an annotation. And over here, you can see me, still without the Mossberg. I don't know when the Mossberg will make its entrance, but uh, I did take manage to take Joe Blow's revolver, which is proving to be very nice. As this guy just I just blew his arm off with my 357 Magnum rounds. So yeah. Um, now we'll go a little bit more in the mocks and stuff. This is a roadside. This is a roadside. Um, like telephone bo box. You find these like yeah, if you like break down near the road, then you know you can call. In coal, and then so this is it. Um, we might be able to salvage some power from here if we it's like a solar panel. Yeah, there's a solar panel here, and it's probably still working. Just the phone will be working, and you know you don't really have anyone to call. So we're probably gonna reroute some of the power. Um, this is um, the gas station, the lone gas station. This is blown up. Our car broke down like a few miles back, yeah. and so we're trying to get some gas to you know restart it again. If we can just get it up to here, we just need like about like a gallon of gallon or two gallons of yeah. gas to get back here yeah um so that's our mission um this right it's here an abandoned shack and as you can see my friend with this lucky he has a Remington 870 but um luckily for us both of us behind you see the survivors have uh, some stored some food is that some sausage and like potatoes and eggs and a frozen pizza and some strawberries and there's a barrel for rainwater because, you know, water is the most important thing. It's and, probably was like a southern prepper or something. Yeah, southern preppers. And yeah. here's the here's a box for, you know, if you can sto store your uh, axes, your spears, radios, batteries, whatnot. Because this is like a one-night stop we're doing here. And yeah. ladder, ladder, whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> second story. Second story. And, yeah, you're just kind of like camping up there, picking up those zombies, ready to like, yeah... You can look down those sights if it's possible. Not aiming at anything. Yeah, not aiming, but like just kind of like you know, spray and pray through the window. Yeah, you can see that one guy approaching. And if you go in the first story, you might if you can see out the window, you can see it's kind of quite hectic. Um, I don't know. I'm sure, if the camera can focus it, but yeah, you'll see some zombies approaching and they're moaning, and yeah, yeah. And of course, my revolver. Uh, taking, gonna take out this guy who's like charging, because obviously, as we discussed, these are fungus zombies, and they're still alive, but it's just like their brains are completely, taken and their over. nervous system are taken over by fungus, and all they want to do is infect other people with their spores, fungus spores. Oh it's yeah, actually, it's kind of it's a lot more disgusting than regular zombies, because yeah. not oh, only look, are they like rotting. Look, look at this guy, it's kind of funny, this guy's like a, he once used to be a pizza chef at a five-star gourmet Italian restaurant <laughs> in the nearby city. But, um, you know, because, like, zombies always, like, wander and stray. Yeah. They're, like, strays. So, I don't know how we ended up here, but it's unfortunate. Yeah. So, yeah. Cameraman, mm -hmm. if you can just do, like, a, just a 360 slow panorama. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't know if you guys watch The Walking Dead, but the, the series, the shows, the producers aren't afraid to kill off the main characters. So, likewise... Unfortunately, Joe Blow, you know, who gave us protection at the convenience store, didn't make it. Sorry. Sorry if you guys had uh, sentimental feelings for Joe Blow. We did, too. Yeah, we did, too. I mean, he paid his respects. Like, he gave me, like, I don't have, I don't have this anymore. This was a lead pipe. I'm now using a revolver. I mean, I just, like, one-upped. One-upped the zombies right there. Yeah. Poor Joe Blow. He was a good guy. Good Great guy. man. Good Great guy. man. Yeah. He saved me from the zombie box. So basically what happened, if you guys remember, uh, we'll have an annotation to the first episode, but, you know, uh, he was on the roof, and I was downstairs with the metal pipe with Joe Blow. What ended up happening was, so, 
he he ran out of my friend ran out of shotgun ammo, twelve gauge. And so what ended up happening is he just went downstairs again and we just kinda like kinda I guess I'm sorry this happened, but we just kinda ditched Joe Blow. I mean and then Joe Blow Joe Blow so we we went to a nearby hotel and Joe Blow got knocked out and or Joe Blow obviously this is what happened to him. We found his body. We found his body. We went back to get some food from his convenience store. <laughs> it's kind of very uh, respectful. And <laughs> took his revolver, found a box of ammo, revolver ammo, and we took a car, broke down, and now we're here. Yeah. We just got a Molotov, set him on fire. You know, that's a nice, like, yeah. like um, send off. We don't have time to bury people, you know. Yeah. But, you know, as well, you know, we just put, like, a little stick in the ground that marked the spot. So, anyways, um, on that note, <laughs> yeah, that hope you guys um, comment on what you guys think is gonna happen next. Uh, we really enjoy these um, mocks. In mocks and series. Um, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let me see if I can put it on the back. <laughs> okay, I feel risky. <laughs> see if can... Yep. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Anyways, we really like the sets. Mocks are really, really fun to build. They're very hard to build, too. They're not like vehicles, you know? You know, usually you don't have, like, stuff to, like, reference and stuff. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy these. We'll ha hopefully have some more, of course. And you guys put in the comments if we survive, do we die, or what. Um, it's really fun reading the comments last time. And hope you guys uh, like this video. And, yeah, this has been LEGO Animat. And LEGO Animat, out.